<laughs> Hi everyone! Hi guys! Carson is finally here! So in today's video, we will be talking about how Carson got here and as well as our first first ever meeting. <laughs> so first, introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Carson and as you guys know, I'm her long distance boyfriend. Well, not anymore. <laughs> and where did you came from? I came. Where did you come from? Um, I came from. I come from, or I can't know it's I came from. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm from. I came from. <laughs> Are I I'm English? I'm I, from Germany. Yeah, I'm from Germany. And I am from the Philippines. So my name is RV and I am her long distance girlfriend of almost two years. And we just met um, a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Not actually a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Um, we just made this video late. But anyway, we finally saw each other a few weeks ago and we had an actual footage of what happened on our first meeting but before that I want to hear Carson's story of how he was able to come here and her and his journey of coming in here in the Philippines by the way the very reason why Carson was able to enter the Philippines was because he was half Filipino and half German so as a half Filipino or having a Filipino mother you're you are actually entitled or eligible to get a Philippine passport so he was able to get that long before and we were it was also a long journey to get his passport <laughs> yeah, yeah so anyway let's hear from Karsten about his journey of coming here in the Philippines so my journey actually started um, at the time where we proceed the passport um, Ah, by the way can you tell them when was the very first um, time that you booked a flight my very first time that I booked my flight was the first first June of 2000 no it was was it on your birthday I think it was July my mom's birthday no 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 I booked my flight I June no I booked my flight January 2000 20 mm -hmm. and my flight was actually around July. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was the first time I booked my flight. Mm -hmm. And then, bef and then a couple of weeks before my flight, um, that was the time where that was the time where my flight got cancelled. For that was the time where when my flight. When was your flight cancelled? Um, I think that was a couple of weeks before my flight. Ah. Right. Ah, before yeah, before July because of COVID nineteen. Yeah, that's true. And then I rebooked my flight, and then the same thing happening again. October. And then it got cancelled again. Mm -hmm. Then I had to rebook it again. April. Yeah, April. And then um, I decided, or maybe we said to ourselves, or you said to me that I better book with Emirates. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was actually the right decision to make mm -hmm. because you booked with what was the airline it was Qatar Pacific ah, Qatar Pacific and then your your connecting flight is going to Hong Kong oh, was it Hong Kong Hong Kong and then mm -hmm. and then Hong Kong is not really open for even connecting flights yeah that's true that's why I said to Carsten that you should ask for that refund and book for a different flight, either Emirates or Qatar. Mm -hmm. And luckily, they refunded me the whole amount. Yeah. Um, Maybe, um, since you mentioned you mentioned that you booked your flight around January, it was cancelled July, cancelled October, cancelled April, and then the last is may actually i had a joke to carson and i said that if you will not come here in may just do not come here anymore ah! I 
yeah I told him that but luckily it but luckily luckily and very fortunately nakapunta talaga si Karsten dito so the very first challenge that you had was what was it with the ah yeah with the do you mean with the ticket or when I arrived at the airport I think before your flight because here in the Philippines um Carson's flight was on a 17 and then Mactan Airport that got closed for <laughs> two days so it was two days before my flight it was the 14 and the 15 May where the Mactan Airport um, temporarily closed the, um, ho the hotel overflow yeah yeah almost almost mm -hmm. hotel overflow now so <gasps> I really got scared and I thought that oh, see, it will not happen again Garston will be cancelled again but it was luckily only for the 14th and was it 14 and 15? oh it was 14 and 15 and then after that um, there there was another announcement which was banned of seven countries including the UI UAE yeah yeah including UAE and then the connecting flight of Karsten will be on Dubai Airport so it's gonna be in UAE but luckily for connecting flights it's not included mm -hmm. <laughs> so he was still really coming here and even with that I'm still very my anxiety level was very very high. very high yeah so tell us what happened when you were in the airport um when I arrived at Frankfurt Airport, I had to wait for around a couple hours before I could do the check-in. Mm -hmm. And then when I arrived at the check-in, I thought that everything goes smoothly because I have all my documents, I have my um, hotel reservation and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And then there was this first big major problem. Mm -hmm. I arrived at the check-in counter and then this lady told me, Sir, can you present your 14 days hotel booking confirmation? And then I was like, um, why you want like 14 days? I only have like a two days um, hotel reservation. And then she said, oh yeah, because that's the requirement for the Filipino government that we have to see or you have to present the 14 days hotel quarantine reservation. And then my anxiety level got so high. Oh, and just like me. <laughs> like, like I really didn't know what to do. And then I told her, "Yeah, can um, you cannot make make an expectation, or is it expectation? What do you mean? Like, mm. ah, exemption. Ah, yeah, except, oh, oh. Mm -mm. yeah, like." Yeah, then I told her, oh yeah, please, um, oh yeah, please, um, you can't do an exemption, and I was really like so nervous, like getting on this flight, and then like after, and, and I really thought that I couldn't do this flight anymore, and then after a lot of talking, 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 <laughs> yeah, because, um, Emirates only receive the information what the IATF is giving out and not the information what um, Mrs. Gwen Garcia uh, is Yeah, there's a different executive order for Cebu. Oh, oh, so they didn't really have it in their like list of documents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it in the Philippines it always changed no, oh, all the time. Chocolate. So that's why the airport personnel, especially not from the Philippines, they're really not sure about our rules. So yeah, it happened. Oh, that Carson was supposed to be not flying in here. Oh, and then I showed her the executive order for um, from Cebu. Then she checked it. Then someone from Emirates came. Oh. And he checked. And he checked. It as well and a special thanks to that guy who approved it yeah that's that's good and then I think you called me right oh, oh. yeah I, I was actually like wanting to vlog about it and then on that 
a specific time you called me i was really crying because <laughs> i thought you're not coming in here yeah but luckily you're here and i was able to see you now so after checking in successfully in in frankfurt did you have any problems in dubai airport um i i didn't have any problems at dubai airport just waiting and do just one security check but it really wasn't a security check mm -hmm. they just were on their phones what about on cebu airport what's your experience when you arrived um when i arrived in cebu airport i thought that i thought that it didn't went that smooth but it actually went uh, it, was, it was smooth yeah but actually it was pretty smooth mm -hmm. so we didn't have any problems problems mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah but the th funny thing is um the moment i arrived at cebu they were just talking in beside uh. me and i'm a german and, uh, and i don't understand. speak or understand Bisaya. Bisaya. so i was like oh no sorry mom i only speak english <laughs> yeah so that was your experience when you are uh, you you really had some struggles when you were in frankfurt airport but in dubai and cebu everything went smoothly everything went smoothly so carson booked on a hotel which is a bit near here where, where we're living right now actually um kakalipat lang namin dito sa bahay na to so Karsten arrived in here where everything is so messy <laughs> because we just transferred to a new house so we are now living in Madawi city and then the the hotel where he booked is actually near here so after after the swab after the swab test um you immediately or a hotel personnel picked you up to go to the a hotel no so if if you're curious how many days Kirsten stayed for in the hotel it was actually only for 48 hours no a bit less because i slept there at night mm -hmm. I, was... I think you slept two days there uh oh it was like two days the day i arrived until the next day yeah. and then the next day in the morning i received the swab test immediately mm -hmm. ah okay so yeah and then um after that carson is already free to go we were the ones who picked him up but there was actually a second swabbing um i think it was six days after he arrived there was a second swab test and it turned out and the result was also negative and after that quarantine we immediately got married <laughs> That's true. yeah so um i just cannot believe to be honest that you're really here after waiting for so long oh um, because the first couple of days are like i don't know what about you it still feels a bit surreal of course especially when we just when we got married immediately yeah even though there is no surprise already because Carson and i planned about it really well almost every day when we were not together so by the time that he got in here so we really tried our best if we can really yeah that's true <laughs> we can really get married so anyway that was our first meeting and we have some clips of how we really met for the first time both our reactions oh, oh and i can tell on the first meeting i tried to hug her and she was so shy and yeah you will see on the next clips and i just i can really just say that when it's really your time, it will really be your time because na cancel na siya ng madaming beses, and then um, the time when Carson will be coming in here, na close pa ang airport, but luckily it wasn't the day that Carson will come here, and then um, there was also ban, they also banned different kind, a uh, different countries including uae but luckily not including the connecting flights so i'm just thankful that the lord really allowed mm -hmm. us to see each other 
and, and to be husband and wife. Yeah, and I'm just happy. Anyway, that was the story of our first meeting, and I'm just really, really happy that Carson is here. Um, even though he will just leave me immediately. Hmm. Oh, but it's only temporary. Uh, just only temporary. But anyway, if you have any questions regarding how Carson came in here and also how we processed everything, if you are half Filipino or anything like that, you can actually ask us on the comment section below. And see you on our next video, guys. See Thank ya. you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>